This is exactly what is going on behind the scenes in the crypto world. SEC counters Ripple in effort to appeal groundbreaking XRP rulings. So Ripple had said they shouldn't be allowed to appeal. The SEC is responding. Now the judge decides exactly whether or not this appeal goes through. But this is Ripple's response to the SEC's response. Ripple lawyer calls the SEC's latest filing a hypocritical pivot because before the decision was made, the SEC said the laws were very clear. Now they're saying it's murky. We need to go through all these legal cases, hash it out. And so clearly the judge is favoring Ripple, but we're gonna have to stay on top of exactly what they do next. CFTC goes after open other DeFi operations in enforcement sweep, right? This is the extent of how crypto is being regulated. What happened? was the U.S. derivatives regulators ordering Open Zero X Deridex to cease violations. What they did was illegally allow derivatives products to trade on their platforms. They have to pay penalties, 250K, 200, 100K. The companies agreed to these terms to settle the charges, and that's it, right? Much ado about nothing. Clearly not a huge deal. Lots of growth in this space. $500 Billion dollar asset manager Mirai partners with Polygon in new Web3 technology push. Asset managers tokenizing assets on top of these massive blockchains, right? Polygon runs on Ethereum. Massive growth on Solana, though. Truly epic. 200 billion transactions on top of Solana. Remember, Hedera Hashgraph just reached or is about to reach 21 billion, right? About 10% of where Solana is. In the meantime, Ripple just expanding its footprint, growing, right? Ripple buys crypto infrastructure startup in its second acquisition of 2023. The deal will give Ripple a license in Nevada and allow it to expand beyond its core bread and butter of blockchain-enabled payments. In May, Ripple agreed to buy Medico, a Swiss provider of crypto custody services. So what Ripple is doing is buying up financial infrastructure. They have lots of money. They're just going to continue to expand their footprint. What they're doing is buying up financial licenses. They have over 25 licenses in the U.S. Massive what is going on behind the scenes.